Yo guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to start the day off with a JB story time. I've brought it back into 2019. So if you, if you want me to do more of these JB story times then please leave a like and subscribe and I'll do more. So the first one um, is that I was, um, it's just happened on a Thursday. Um, we were doing PE and it was too cold to do to um, to go outside, so you had to go stay indoor. So we had three options to do multi gym, table tennis, or football. I chose football per use, yeah. So in the first game, well, so my team were two Georges, um, I've got um, me, Mo, and Ah, oh, yeah. But yeah. Um, so, so yeah, we were thinking of who was gonna go in net. I said I didn't want to go in net because I'm not, because I'm really bad in net. And then this George, George Johnson, he's like, Hey, oh, what, what um, position are you good in? And if you're a better keeper. And, and like that, that, that like dropped my spirit a bit. Anyway, um. So then, um, the first game I started as a sub, sub, which is just I wanted to do, right? Second game, um, I went in goal, not really much to do, and, wait, when I was a sub, we conceded. Then when I was in goal, we didn't concede. And then, third game, I went up front, and the ball passed to me by George Creel. He get, and then I go, I um, scoop turn, the ball passed out of one of my opponents, and then I... Then I shot outside the boot. It looks like it's going wide. It just creeps in inside the goal into the side netting. It's a pretty good goal. And then one of my teachers, um, Mr. Wiles, was like, hey, Josh, was that you? And scored. And I was like, yeah. And I gave him a thumbs up. He was like, what a winner. <laughs> so yeah, I was pretty happy with that goal. And then it was like the end of the lesson. And, um, and yeah, um, yeah, um, the other team congratulated me over the goal, and yeah, so that's pretty much how I scored a pretty sick goal, to be honest. Now, this is story number two. Now, story number two, I was playing WWE 2K19. If any of you have heard this game, game, you know, it's pretty epic, to be honest. It's pretty cool. Um, I was doing a career mode. I'm on chapter 12. Be careful what you wish for. Now, basically, it's one of these ma one of the matches was um, was um, set up by Triple H, aka Hunter, um, and he set me up in a three on one on three handicap match, me being the one person. So I got set up against the Bar and Samoa Joe. The Bar is Sheamus and Cesaro, and then Samoa Joe, yeah. So I got put in first with Samoa Joe and then I started beating him up outside the ring. I just chucked him out and then just started like punching and then did a DDT on him. And yeah, and then brought him back in and then and he reversed one of my moves and um, he uh, tagged in Sheamus. Then Sheamus came in and he um, and he started to like, you know, kick me and punch me and stuff. My character anyway. Okay. And then I got Sheamus to red health. Because that you go from green health to alt to yellow health, then to red health, and then once red health is gone, they have um, this orange health, which you could get back to red, but yeah. So Seamus came in and did a hot tag, which basically you crawl to your teammates, and then you just jump in midair, and then you just tag, and then Cesaro came in, and then um, then this is the funny thing, right? So. I didn't mean to do, do this right, so, so I did a DDT again on Cesaro and then this happened, so basically I would press, okay so there's this button on an Xbox One controller called Y and Y controls signatures and finishes, so I had a signature right, um, um, I think it's the sit out chicken wing face buster. I can show you a clip of it now because a lot of you might not know what it is. So, here you go. Yeah. Um, and 
Then there's also a possibility that I could have used a sit out butterfly face buster. I can show you that clip now as well. Oh, and then I just went into the, into the pin and um, I was in my one. And yeah. So, so yeah, I won. I, I was wondering why like Seamus and Samoa Joe didn't come in to like break the cover because that uh, I thought because that uh, I knew I finally realised that they didn't come in to support the cover because uh, that it wasn't really a finisher because it because that's usually right in the game when when it, when someone does a finisher and it's a tag team then the other tag team person comes in and breaks the cover. But I used the signature, so I think probably that's why, because uh, they probably thought I wasn't that effective. And then I won the game, and then I got power slammed by Braun Strowman, the Universal Champion. Well, in the game anyway. He's not real life. Real Champion is this guy. He's so lazy, no offence, but he's just so lazy. He doesn't even come onto Raw. And, well, he's a good champion, but like he just doesn't come out, really, so technically he's not the best. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, so pretty much um, that is what happened. I can even show you my repertoire and actually like, you know, it's basically like the set of moves and superstar info that I have with my character. So I can show you that now. So so here we have the Rainmaker DDT. This is my repertoire here. And the up is standing front and pin combo. We've got the offense. And we have the Future Shock. Future Shock. Um, it's also the same as that. And we have the last shot in ringside finisher. Um, and we have the jumping complete shot, which is basically the same as Sister Abigail. We have the UTS 18 standing behind. I've changed this. I've put the sit out butterfly buster. And we have Sister Abigail and we have the schoolboy super kick, which is basically where you roll where you roll the person over and then just kick him in the face. So yeah, that's like my whole repertoire, and this is my guy. Yeah, he's not the best, but yeah, it was actually good. Oh yeah, guys, and also I forgot to mention what GTS actually stands for in the game. GTS it stands for Go to Sleep. Okay, guys, there's another part to the story. Basically, in the next week of my career mode, um, um, Hunter, okay, Triple H. Um, was with Ron Strowman and this SWAT team which is on ring ringside and basically I was looking at the SWAT team and then there's someone that just looked like really tall and then it ended up being my my character so my character goes takes off his helmet and chucks it um, chucks it into the ring and he gets in to the ring and then he goes rebounds off the ring ropes and then he gets tackled by Braun Strowman. Now you'd think, right, you'd think, oh, I wouldn't like, you know, get up. But I somehow get back up before Braun Strowman. I'm not sure what happened, right? We were like down for like 10, 15 seconds. Right, and I somehow get up. And then Hunter was like, just like, like somehow annoyed. He was just like, you know, just astounded a bit. And then, what I do is, as, as I'm going back into backstage, what I do, I reveal a, ch a metal chest plate. So, one showman, his head probably went into the chest plate. That's why he's not, not standing up. I think just like, it's, it was just so funny to watch, to be honest. And yeah, that's pretty much the JB story time. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.